coming up next, it's a UFC Women's Bantamweight Championship fight between Chris Cyborg and Amanda Nunes. She may go down as the greatest women's mixed martial artist in UFC history. Still a lot of work to be done on that front. But so far, so good for the Lioness two-division champion, Amanda Nunes. Amanda Nunes wasn't the lady that popped off the page when the UFC introduced those divisions. But through hard work and commitment, she has put herself amongst the brightest of stars in the sport, regardless of gender. Two-division champion and has beaten some of the biggest names female mixed martial arts ever seen. Wins over Rousey, wins over Tate, wins over Cyborg, also beating Kat Zingano. What a resume of Amanda Nunes. Two wins over Valentina Shevchenko. On and on it goes, and on and on goes the winning streak for Amanda Nunes. She will try to leave here tonight the way she enters as the UFC champion. Well, she's one of the more exciting fighters in this or any division and really came into the UFC with some legitimate striking credentials, and she's put those to good use in the big show. And that's why everybody was so excited about her UFC debut. They understood that they were about to witness something truly special. A striker, a fighter with an ability to finish fights with her legs, with her hands, with her elbows, with her knees. There was nothing, no tool at her disposal that she would not use. She was going to use everything gifted to her, and she has done that, and that's why her performances have been so great in the UFC. Yeah, she does not discriminate. She is a true, tried and tested eight-point striker, so try to put on a striking clinic here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. Championship of the world. It's Rudy first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 21 wins, four losses. She stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, presenting the challenger, Amanda the Lioness. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a Muay Thai fighter, holding a professional record of 22 wins, two losses, and one no contest. She stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Huntington Beach, California, USA, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC women's bantamweight champion of the world, Chris Cyborg. UFC belt on the line. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. So here we go, Amanda Nunes versus Chris Cyborg. And as Amanda Nunes gets set to compete here tonight, some would argue she is the most... Oh! Huge right hand! Lands a big right hand early. Oh, vicious uppercut. Wow. Beautiful leg kick throw. Nunes gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. More clinching. 
continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Big elbow there, Lance. for her here, and if you're the bottom fighter, this is truly a case of, of pick your poison. Yeah, you gotta pick your poison. And if you're on the bottom, you gotta be trying to find a way to escape that bottom leg. You cannot allow your opponent, you cannot allow her to sit on your leg and just throw big damage and strikes. You've got to make sure you're on an elbow control, underhook, and getting back to your feet. Man, her striking looks clean tonight, timing on point. Her timing's on point, her accuracy's on point. She's very busy, she's in a good flow. Try to establish that jab. Nunez gets caught with that punch. Just over three minutes to go on our first round. She defended the takedown beautifully and scrambles back to her feet. Way to mix it up. Huge elbow lands from the clip. Oh, big damaging knees here to the body. Straight right hand, but she misses. Leg kick checked nicely by Cyborg. Oh, man, that looked like it hurt. Nice kick by her there. It absolutely did hurt. I can tell you that as a fact. All right, so Amanda Nunes getting off here again as usual. Really as well-rounded a fighter as we have in the men's or the women's game here. Yeah, regardless of gender, right? Regardless of gender, Amanda Nunes stands amongst the best in pound for pound in the entire UFC. Look at how she drives her knee right into her opponent's midsection. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Both fighters throwing heat now. That's a big strike right there. Oh, she is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed and it looks like she's gonna finish this fight. Oh, she landed a huge hook there. Oh! Battle for position here. Dig and kick. It's a great punch landed with so much power. Back and forth we go here. Well, they don't let you wear headgear, but she don't need it tonight, right? Beautiful job defensively. She's doing a great job of blocking up top. Nothing of any substance has landed to this point. Beautiful combination there by Cyborg. Look at the turnover in that kick. Well, she continues to leave that head open, and she paid for it there. She's almost moving into the strike. She hasn't changed up her tempo, and she continues to keep her head on that center line. We'll see if she can make the proper adjustments here. Looks as though her leg might be hurt here, limping a little bit. And she lands a punch there. We'll see if she can start to turn these singular strikes into combinations now. She's going to have to find something to follow that big strike that she's landing over and over again. That left hook landed on the button. Oh! Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to chase the finish. All right, she postures up here, DC. We'll see if she can get those ground strikes. Watch for the huge elbows that she's known for. Cyborg's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Goes to the upper cut and immediately snaps her opponent's head back. Snap her head back. Now it's on her to land that shot again and follow it up with something and her opponent's knife. All right, so a lot of high-level striking in that last round, but the big shot, of course, to the head that stunned her opponent nearly got her out of it. I mean, she hurt her bad. I, I can't believe that we are going to another round. I thought it was over. She landed it perfectly. Usually that's enough to end the fight. Unfortunately, the round goes on. Let's see what happens. Uh, 
Second round underway. Oh, that right hand is on point. There's no tell on that leg kick. Nunez gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. There's no give to that leg kick. Oh, that is a nice jab by her there, as your boy Rosendo Sanchez might say. That was clean. It was so clean. One of the best female fighters I've ever seen fight behind the jab is Joanna J. Check. She controlled people with a jab. Oh, nice jab. Oh, she's really starting to put together some significant body shots here, attacking both sides now. What a body kick. Cyborg gets touched by that kick there. Oh, nice. is downright scary in constant pursuit of the finish. Might get it. She does a really good job of throwing punches with a kick. She never just throws just to be thrown. Every punch is meant to land, and every punch is meant to start a finish. Man, she is just nonstop on the ground, moving in all the right directions. Another nice transition by her there. She's moving a lot, but every movement has purpose. And they separate. Cyborg's inner thigh really starting to bruise now. A lot of damage inflicted by her opponent with those leg kicks. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit... Oh! You can never know what you're going to see with this young lady. Is she going to finish the fight? Straight right. Big knee. Nice strike. Oh, huge elbow. She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's going to finish this fight. Oh. Oh, straight right. Oh, she blocks the punch. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Whoa! Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Oh! 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 Oh, she's got the full mount now, DC. Her ground and pound is fantastic, and maybe that'll open the door. And that's gonna do it! Do you believe it? Just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. Absolutely flush on the land, and I'm not even sure her opponent saw it coming. So sometimes it's the strike you don't see coming that spells your fate, and ultimately it goes in the books as a big knockout win for her here tonight. All right, we take a look back at some of the pictures from this one, and she had it all going on tonight, but certainly her boxing was on point. Her boxing always is what allows her to dictate the pace of fights. Finally, she landed the strike that ended the night of her opponent. Let's go inside the octagon now where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee E for B. Let's go stop this contest. At three minutes, 15 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by sort of foresaw this result tonight. We have a new UFC Bantamweight champion. Congratulations go out to her and her team. At some point, you're going to listen to me. Ah. At some point, you're going to take notice that I know what I'm talking about. I called it Great Fighter. You understand that she has a...